Welcome back to Sim Right Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial. In this class, I'll be showing you how to make um, this beautiful flounce um, detail. I call it a flounce by the side of the skirt, okay, attached to it. So this is not actually the normal flounce we know. So, but I will be showing you how to go about this and attach it effectively so right here I have my skirt pattern piece which I've already drafted this is my waistline this is the hip line which is the lower hip and the upper hip line so and I have the full length of this skirt pattern so this is going to be unfold of course you know and what we are and making right here the flange we are going to attach is going to run from the waistline into the side so what I'm going to do is to take the measurement of what I have right here so I have 8 inches I'll multiply it by 2 because once I place on fold and open I'll be having 16 inches on the waistline now i'm going to measure from this point of my skirt that is the part we are going to attach the fluence and i'll take it all the way to the hem that is if you want or above wherever you want it to be so i'll just do here okay so i measured from here as you can see and i have 17 so i have 17 inches so i'm going to put 16 plus 17 together for the full waist and here I have um, 3 3 so I have 33 inches so I'm going to cut um, my pepper I'm using pepper to demonstrate this so I'll just cut my pepper at a um, length of 33 and width of 6 inches okay so that is what we are going to do to make this so let me quickly do that so I've gone ahead to cut my pepper right now. So from here to here is 6 inches. But from here to here, which is the length, is uh, 33 inches. So it depends on your own measurements, okay? It's not constant. It depends on what you measured following video instructions. So now I'm going to shape in my... The... I'm going to shape in the parts of that um, flange right now. So the first thing I'll do, I'll just put them together so I'll be able to get a definite shape. Okay. So the definite shape I just want to make. Just try and be creative with what you want to do. So this is what the shape I want to give to that flange at that point. But I also noticed that one of the flounces right there is bigger than the other. So I'm just shaping only this part. Okay. So this is the part that we are going to attach on the waistline this way. While coming over here, this one looks um, a bit uh, smaller. So it looks a bit smaller at this direction. So what I'll just do is to reduce the, the width of what I have. So here I have um, 5. So I'll now start coming down to 4.5 as I'm going. As I'm moving, I'll coming down by 4. I'll be coming down by 3.5. And, and finally, I'll reduce it. So it depends on how you want to reduce it. So I'll just go ahead this way and reduce it to nothing. So if you want to make it smaller, just keep, go ahead and make it smaller. Okay, so if you want to reduce it the more, maybe you want this part tiny, you can just go ahead and do what? Reduce it. There's no hard and fast to that. It must be the same length so you can see what i have something looking at this uh, like this shape and this is going to be straight so i'm i'm pretending this is my skirt which i'm sewing 
I'll go ahead and sew it into the waistline now. So I'll just use my uh, adhesive to demonstrate it. So, but note that this pattern, you are going to use it to cut your fabric. And once you cut your fabric, you are going to put your uh, your stay, okay? Just like we have in peplon stay, we, we do in peplon. You are going to uh, add peplon stay and turn with your lining this part will be open then you sew it on the skirt's waistline this way so i've applied my adhesive now and i've pretended i've sewn it on the skirt's waistline so once i've sewn it on the skirt's waistline to this point remember that i've not joined my skirt's uh, back so i'll just go ahead and apply my adhesive here as well as if i'm sewing it so i will turn it this way can you see when i'm sewing once i'm done with the um with my waist sewing i'll come in and sew okay so i'm working with pepper so it might not really you know stand like when i've stitched it so what i will do i'll just go to my machine now let me just stitch it around and bring it all right so i just went ahead and stitched on my machine you can see that i stitched it on my machine so once you stitch it let us assume that you've already um, uh, uh, placed your peplum stay okay so you have your stay this is how is it to be standing for you as you can see so this is how it's going to look like so um, the waistline I just want to trim it up so you see a clearer picture of what we just did here so you are going to attach this to this dress now okay so it's actually looking beautiful so by the time you sew, I started sewing from here. Once I got here, I, I, I turned it this way. So once you turn it, you have this place open this way, the way it is, okay? So you can now go ahead and sew it on your skirt line. So you can see it's giving us what we have right there on the thumbnail. So thank you very much for coming to this tutorial. And I believe this class was helpful to you. So if you are new to, to this channel, Please kindly subscribe, turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day. Like this video, share to family and friends, drop your comment on the comment section and your suggestions as well. So thank you for coming, see you in the next class, bye!